All right, dude, so I, I don't even know how to start off this video. I don't really know what's a good way to segue into what we're about to talk about. I mean, I feel like I just kind of got to, you know, hit you guys with it. I feel like right now this is sort of like a rip the band-aid off kind of moment, you know, where I just kind of got to show you the the dark side of the Minecraft YouTuber fan base. I mean, it's obviously no secret at this point that if you are a massive creator in any genre on YouTube or Twitch or any social media platform that's prevalent, you're going to have some crazy ass fans. And that's... I I mean, there's no refuting that statement. I mean, I've gone over some crazy fans from just about every big creator right now who's really trending. I mean, you look at Corp's husband, I mean, some of his fans are absolutely out of their minds. Some of the Bella Porch fans from a while ago, if you guys remember that. I mean, they were defending her as if their own life depended on it. It was it was insane. Also, like, the Gacha Life fan base made one video on a Gacha Life YouTuber had at least, like, 400 comments from Gacha Life people with anime profile pictures, pretty much telling me to sign myself up for swimming lessons with my own toaster. But yeah, I mean, you know, if you have a pretty large fan base, you're gonna have some toxic fans or a toxic community at some point. So today I'm gonna be taking a look at the Minecraft YouTuber fan base, which I haven't really done so before. Because I have heard from some people that the dark side of the Minecraft YouTuber fan base is like the most toxic fan base out there, which I doubt, but I guess we'll see. So I'm sure at this point we all know who Dream is, you know, the explosively popular Minecraft YouTuber. Yeah, pretty much 2020 was like his best year. He absolutely exploded exploded in popularity. He now has a whopping 12 million subscribers. And that's not mentioning his 2 million Twitch followers. So yeah, this dude can like probably fill up a baseball stadium with the amount of subscribers and fans that he has. Pretty crazy stuff going on there, but objectively more crazy is his fan base. But before we dive into talking about some of Dream's crazy ass fans, I do want to make it pretty clear that I'm only talking about the crazy ones. If you just so happen to watch Dream and you like his content and you consider yourself a fan of Dream, I'm not talking about you because odds are that you're a pretty chill guy guy, you know, you're probably pretty reasonable. I'm talking about the wacko cracko ones who need to be put in a cage because they can't be let out to society because they're a danger to everybody who surrounds them. Okay, obviously heavy exaggeration, but you know, there are some people who just, you know, kind of take it like way too far. Like I understand being a fan of a YouTuber. Like I, I really do. I'm a fan of a lot of YouTubers, but the moment that you start making gay furry fetish art between Dream and his friends, yeah, you've crossed the fucking line. Because Dream has said multiple times that A, he's not gay. B, this kind of stuff makes him incredibly uncomfortable. And see, these are his friends, okay? That's all it is. They're literally just friends. Obviously, I'm not homophobic. Dream is not homophobic. Shout out to all my LGBTQ viewers. I don't know if there's any of you guys, but if there is, up top, up top. But these people who sit on Twitter drawing Dream and his friends who he plays Minecraft with kissing and aggressively making out, it's just, like, not okay. Additionally, there's people making compilations of Dream's gayest moments, so. So my friend sent me this video called Dream and George Not Found's Most Gay Moments. I don't really have much to say at this point, but I guess we're gonna have to give this one a watch. I think the fact that they had to clarify that subscribing to somebody on YouTube is free in the year 2020, I think that right there kind of shows you the average IQ of somebody watching this video. Like, hey, I didn't know I could subscribe to somebody for free, but this video just taught me that, man. Like, if this video actually taught you that subscribing is free, I think that you are either way too young for YouTube or that you probably need a clinical diagnosis. Also, you gotta love how they throw up that stat. Like, yeah, only 0.7 of you guys are subscribed. Like, are you surprised? I'm not saying that their content is bad, I mean, but like any channel that posts compilation videos, nobody comes to those videos for original content. It's literally just compiled and recycled content of other people's channels. They subscribe to the channels that the compilations are using, not the compilation channels. My best friend George is colorblind, a coder, and gay. George and George have so much in common. They do, actually. That's crazy. So the first clip of Dream quote-unquote being gay is him literally just showing affection to his friend in a very platonic way, saying, Yo, George, yeah, man, we have a lot in common, dude. And that just kind of shows you how his fans, or not the fans, you know, like the diehard stands, the people who have to make everything weird and sexual, they just kind of look at their friendship as some sort of sexual thing, which it's not. I can only imagine what would happen if this channel saw Dream and George not found giving each other a high five. I mean, dude, they're practically proposing. Dream asked George not found how his day is going. Oh my god, dude, he's flirting with him, dude. He wants him. But no, if you just think that George not found being a normal person to Dream is somehow an indication of his sexuality, 
it's not. This whole video actually kind of makes me a little bit sad because I know that there's so many kids out there who look up to these guys and think, man, when I grow up, I want to be a Minecraft YouTuber. But, you know, after seeing all this, I can't imagine these kids want to grow up and have to deal with all this sort of stuff. Like, can you imagine being a Minecraft YouTuber and you have to live in fear of telling your friend that you like his haircut because you know that some channel like this is going to turn it into a sexual thing? Because in the year 2020, saying, I like you cut, G, is now somehow an insane form of flirting. Scream 60. Yeah, I'm leaving you for A60. <laughs> he screams better than you anyway. What? As in like... Wait, what? Oh my Interesting. <laughs> His screams are funnier than yours Wait, anyway. this is annoying. Can we get a sexuality review? Um... I guess I'm straight. What? I'm straight. So wait, this guy just tells you that he's straight and then you just don't accept him? What? This is the opposite of how it should be. Saying that he took a long time to reveal his sexuality, which in reality was like, what, five seconds? He thought about it, decided if he wanted to say it, then said it, and then you're turning that into, well, you know, he, he took too long or he stuttered, so therefore he's gay? Like, bro, come on. We're just like the friend who's like secretly gay, but he doesn't want anyone to know it. Mm -hmm. So he just doesn't say I love you to me because he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to out himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dream hitting you with a pretty obvious joke here, and of course this channel thinks, oh my god, this is some sort of heavy indicator of George not found sexuality. And then of course this channel is like foaming out the mouth, drooling, knowing that this is free content for them to put in their gayest moments video. Like I said, dude, I'm all for LGBTQ people. If you want to be gay, go be gay. If you want to be lesbian, go be lesbian. All that stuff, dude. Go do it, man. You are free to do that. But I want you to imagine for a second, if Dream was actually gay, and then this person was making Dream's straightest moments video, wouldn't that be kind of messed up? Dude, people would be furious saying things like, oh yeah, you're disregarding his sexuality, you're making him uncomfortable, you're not accepting him for who he is. But this is different, right? Because, you know, it's he's straight. Welcome to 2020. You know what you just said, right? That's what, yes. he's, that's what he's confident about. What? That answers your question. Hey, that's what, that was his answer to your question. That's inappropriate, Jerry. Don't say that. <laughs> you're the one who said it. Said what? <laughs> Okay, I can't say it. It's inappropriate. Enough of this. <laughs> Three things you can't live without. Me, me, and me. <laughs> Laughing, but not denying it. I'm not even sure what that's supposed to mean, to be honest. I don't know how him just talking about that has anything to do with what this video is trying to prove. And frankly, this whole video has kind of given me a headache. So with that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are at all new to the channel. Comment down PogChamp if you made it to the end of this video, and I will go hurt your comments. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and join the Discord server. Links all in the description below. But with that being said, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.